Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, The Bean and the Rose. My name is Brittany and I'm here to share my Dollar Tree haul with you guys today. I'm going to jump in, there's a little bit of stuff, so I'm going to try and make it quick for y'all. Uh, please don't forget, I do keep um, pictures at the end from my shop with me. So make sure you stay all the way to the end so that you can see all the items that I did not need to pick up today. That way you guys can still see all the new things that are out in case you need or want them yourself. So let me go ahead and jump in. The first things that I got were these Zero Sugar Kool-Aid um, mixers. And they each have six packets. There's five calories in each one. And there are zero carbs, zero sugars. It is made with aspartame. So that is what is in Splenda for those of you who are... Um, trying to avoid Splenda type um, artificial sweeteners, then you won't want this. But for those of you who kind of just want this around every once in a while um, as like a treat kind of, then I think that these are a decent option. They are the Kool-Aid Sours. So it is Snapping Green Apple and Shock and Blue Raspberry. So I did pick those up. I think my kids are really going to like it. So I picked that up. And then I also, as far as like, I guess, candy things go, I got picked up some things for my kids' Valentine's Day, and they all of a sudden discovered Reese's Pieces and are in love. So I did pick them up each a Reese's Pieces, and it does have the to and from and love you to pieces. So they are kind of Valentine's Day boxes. They were in the Valentine's Day candy section. The next thing that I got were um, these Reese's outrageous stuffed with pieces candies because I told them that these existed and they were like amazed so they also got each one of those and then they have been wanting to try for whatever reason the white Reese's so I picked them up each a white Reese's and then the last candies that I got for them for Valentine's Day are these um, sour pacifier pops they're really goofy they're pacifiers with sour lollipop candy on the top but you know kids love this kind of stuff so I went ahead and picked those up for them as well and then as you guys recall from my last video my kids are being naughty so I did not pick this up last time they had it again so I did pick up the airplane one this time so like I said there is a pink and a blue robot and a truck and then this is the plane so we've got six of them here, one for all the cousins, so we'll be able to do some crafting with the kids. And then um, over here I found a couple more uh, like workbooks. And so my youngest is having some trouble with her handwriting or like where to start her letters. And so I've been trying to work on that with her. So I went ahead and picked up this one to see if it would help. It says kindergarten through second grade. So I'm not really sure if parts of it are too difficult or not. But it is all just kind of arrows pointing in the right directions of how to write your letters. And then they have words that you can trace. So it shows the word and then you can trace it here. Here it gives you ones to trace and then write them on your own. I thought it would help her get some extra practice. So I picked that one up. And then this one here is Spelling Puzzles for Grade 1, ages 6 to 7. Um, it also says AnywhereTeachers.com online curriculum. Try it today. I don't know if it's free or not. I haven't looked into it yet. But uh, for those of you who are interested, that is that little bit on it. And so I picked this one up for my oldest. Uh, she's really, really good at reading, but spelling is a little bit harder for her because she mixes up like which letters to use. But she's doing really, really good, and I'm really not worried about it. Um, but I just got another one, ugh, another one for extra practice. And then in the book section, they had a lot of books. Um, so make sure you, you know, check out the pictures. But I decided to pick up this one and check it out. This one is called Fast Metabolism Food RX. As you can see, it was on the back here. It says it's originally $26. So you can see where that's crossed out here. It was on sale somewhere. I'm not sure where, but um, it's 30% off, so it was being sold for $18, and then this was the only copy I saw at my store, but it wound up at my Dollar Tree, and so I decided to go ahead and kind of read this and see what it says. Uh, before I had my second daughter, I had the paleo diet, and it kind of sounds similar to that, where, you know, it's only sprouted 
grains if you're going to use them. It's supposed to be what is not gut irritating. So I was really kind of curious to see what was in this book. So I decided to check it out. Never hurts. Uh, going into the next section here, I picked up these for next year because these don't expire until like June or July. This one is January, but the other ones, oh no, they are all January. So my bad. January 2020. So you can definitely use these next year, but they had the Pillsbury Perfect Pumpkin Cake Mix, Moist Supreme. And this one makes 24 cupcakes, or you can make a cake out of it. So here it says on the back, you can use two 8-inch rounds, two 9-inch rounds, a bunt pan, 24 cupcakes, 13 by 19 in, or 13 by 9 inch. Um, so all those different sizes you can make out of this. So I thought that was a great option for the holidays next year. This one as well, Moist Supreme Perfectly Pumpkin Cookie Mix. This one says that it makes three dozen cookies and they look delicious. And I love pumpkin, like everything. So, and then this one here, ooh, almost dropped it, is a cinnamon bum. It says it, as always, pudding in the mix. So it is a pudding mix one. So that's pretty cool there too. This one doesn't necessarily have to wait until next year. This one I can make for the kids sometime. It does show how to make a cinnamon cream cake roll on the back, which is definitely something more holiday like so I'm not sure if this will last until the end of the year or if I will want to make this for the kids for something but I picked up all three of these I thought that was a really good deal for a dollar they are heavy full-size boxes so yeah definitely a good deal this one also makes two eight inch rounds two nine inch rounds so it's the same as the cake so these two make the same amount and then I also saw a Duncan Hines extra thick and fudgy chewy fudge brownies i'm sure this will not make it to the holidays but i decided to pick this one up as well it makes a 13 by 9 inch a 9 by 9 inch or an 8 by 8 inch depending on the thickness of the brownies that you want and it also gives you options up here for fudge like brownies or cake like brownies if you want you know a different flavor what kind of brownie you like more and so i thought that this was a pretty good deal too this is a hefty mix so I picked those up I'll probably store those again they don't expire until a year from now so you have plenty of time to use them and even then they have an expiration date but it probably isn't really like bad right at January so I you know you could probably use them past anyway uh, the next thing I picked up were these pins they are like little bobby pins they are by Remington so I get Remington in my, oh, sorry, it's upside down. <laughs> um, I get Remington in my store every once in a while. I'm not sure if this is everywhere. I don't see other people haul this, but I know Remington is not just like a Texas company, so I don't understand why we would only get it. Make sure you go through your hair stuff. They have a lot of hair scarves, so if you see a lot of scarves, you should probably look through the hair ties and stuff because you guys probably have these as well, like hidden behind other stuff. So I thought these were super cute and picked those up. Uh, the next thing I got was a handy chamois. So these are a new item that are out. And supposedly these hold five times its weight in liquid. So they're supposed to be ultra drying. And then I guess you wring them out to, um, to get the water out and then let them dry. And then you can reuse them. So I thought that that was pretty cool. So I figured if it works, I will give it a try. For a dollar, I think that's not bad. So you get one in here, but it is like big. It's like this big. So this is folded. And then I picked up, these are new in my store. They are the Mega My Size 210 sheet two ply uh, paper towel roll. I'm normally not a huge fan of paper towels from the Dollar Tree, but I decided I'd give this a try because I am out and I just needed paper towels. So I figured I'd give it a try, let you guys know what I think of it when I use it. But if it works well, that's quite a bit of paper towels for just a dollar. And then I picked up two more of the Scott's brand toilet paper in the four pack with the rolls. They did not have my other one in, so I went ahead and picked up two of those. 
I picked up these. These are actually really nice um, when you're doing lunches and stuff like that. When you're on the go, you can put sauces in these. Um, so I like to use these also for soy sauce. So when my kids do get the sushi from Aldi, they come with just the little packets. So I just pour them in here and it's easier for them to dip. It's big enough for their sushi to fit in there, but it's not making a big mess. So I went ahead and just picked those up to have them. The next thing that I picked up is this week they have the blue Kool-Aid. So it is the Kool-Aid Burst in berry blue. So, Giorgio, if you are watching, they have the blue ones now. I know you said that was your favorite. So, keep an eye out. They had both the blue and the red at my location today. I got these for my kids to try because they like the red ones so much. So, are they good for you? Absolutely not. Um, but, you know, when you're a kid, you got to enjoy some things that are just things you can enjoy when you're a kid. So, I went ahead and picked those up for my kids just to try. Um, the next thing I picked up were some pork rinds. So on the keto diet, pork rinds are a really great snack, especially if you're trying to get the crunch because that is something you're kind of missing on the keto diet. You get a lot of creamy type flavors, but you miss a little of the crunch. So um, we've been using pork rinds to snack on. These ones here are less than one gram of carbs, so it doesn't have too much, like, bad stuff in it. It does have a little bit of soybean oil, so if you're being super strict, then yeah, you wouldn't want that, but um, these are the salt and vinegar flavor, and we decided to kind of just try it and see. These are probably the worst for you out of all of them, and they are still less than one gram of carbs, however, but they also say two grams of sugar, which does not make sense, so I'm not really sure how that works. Um, but they have MSG in them, and that is the one thing in this that is kind of just not good at all. But, again, we were just kind of going to try it. It's a small bag, and between me and my husband for a few days, I didn't think it was going to kill us to try it. And then I did get a few bags of this one. This is the cleanest one you can get, so if you are on the keto diet, you can have these. Like, 100% it is pork rinds, and salt. And that is it. It has zero grams of carbs. There is no, you know, less than one gram. It has zero sugar, nine grams of protein, five grams of fat. So yes, the sodium is a little bit high, but again, you're not supposed to be eating like an entire bag of these. The serving size is there's six in one bag, so you just eat a few of them. It's just to give you your crunch, salty, crunchy craving. You're not supposed to be eating these all the time. You can also use these in a keto diet as breadcrumb substitute, like a panko. So you just crush them up and you can bread your chicken or your shrimp with these and make a pretty decent um, recipe out of these. So I did pick up three because these were the healthiest. I also picked up two of these because they were just adorable and they are organic. So it is 100% organic apple juice. It's Martinelli's. So it is pasteurized pure apple juice from organic apples grown in the U.S. So I thought that my kids would probably enjoy this. They love apple juice, but I never buy it because to get a decent deal <clears throat> on organic apple juice... At Sprouts or something, I have to buy a giant bottle of it, and I just don't have the space in my fridge for a giant bottle. But I figured, you know, as like a little bit of a treat, they would probably love to have this apple juice, and I do like that it's organic, so I picked that up for my kids. The next thing that I picked up, if I can reach it, sorry guys, is that mine actually had the Rachel Ray plates back in. So as you can see, if I hold it the right way, it says Rachel Ray on it, only a dollar. And I've decided I love this color green, and I kind of want it in my kitchen. So I picked up four of these. I'm still keeping my regular white plates. They are really good for the kids because they're lightweight. These are a little heavier. So these will probably be the adult guest plates, and then the kids can still use the white ones. So I was really happy to see those. I don't know if they are leftovers and once they were getting Christmas stuff in, they put them in the back and they're just bringing them out or if they are actually out again uh, because they were out last year and they came in orange, dark blue, and that green color. Keep your eye out. If you missed it last year, 
keep your eye out. Maybe they are coming back out. So just so you know, FYI. Um, and then I picked up some organizing things. I've been reorganizing my kitchen. And when I am done, I will probably share with you guys the tips and tricks that work best for me. But um, I'm trying to see what works to help me with my vertical space. And so um, I picked up this one as well, just to kind of see. I'm not sure if the plates are going to fit under this. It seems small for plates, but I could definitely use it for other things. So I did pick that one up. The other one that I picked up is an actual like shelf and I got two of them. If I don't need it all, I can always exchange it for other things, but I decided to go ahead and give it a shot and see if it helps at all to organize my space. And then I got like three of these because I was looking for these for the last two weeks and they have been out. So I need to store my lids, my pan lids in these and like my frying pans I also use this for so I decided to get three of them and if I don't wind up needing all of it like I said I can exchange it you can always exchange with your receipt so as long as things are unopened you can exchange it at the Dollar Tree doesn't matter how long you've had it <laughs> trust me um, the last thing I picked up is also for um, my cabinet organization in the kitchen but they have new long baskets so I thought these were perfect I was really excited when I saw these. I do wish they had different colors. Uh, the new colors are cute, but I just kind of like having a white. But this is the other color I have in my kitchen right now is, is blue in my cabinets. So I went ahead and just picked up blue. If they ever come out with white ones or gray ones, I will be trading them out. But I really, really like the size of these. I think these are awesome. Like it's a perfect, like you can... You can put these in your cabinet, even if you want to do spices or something like that, and you can have them organized. You can do baking and seasoning spices in each one, and you can just, like, pull them out for which one you need. You can put a little tag on it because there's holes, so you can tag it and label it. I was really excited about that. But that is everything that I had to share with you today. Remember to check out the pictures, so don't forget. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye.